Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Are you worried about the future of DevOps? Are you thinking is DevOps right fit for me or not? Do you want to understand the average package of a DevOps engineer? And finally, if you have any questions related to AI going to replace DevOps and cloud, please watch this video till the end because I am going to provide you very clear answers on the above questions. Question number one, what is the future of DevOps and cloud? I will answer this question in a very simple, straightforward way that the future of DevOps and cloud is going to be very, very bright. The reason is that there are still a lot of companies who are trying to migrate to the public cloud platforms from private cloud on premises, or they want to move from one public cloud to the other public cloud. And these are the days of hybrid cloud as well. And who knows the public cloud better? DevOps engineers or the cloud engineers. Not just that, there are still a lot of companies trying to move towards container orchestration environments such as Kubernetes in production. They might have tried Kubernetes in their dev staging environments, but they are not fully up and running with Kubernetes, OpenShift, Tanzu, or any container orchestration environments on their production environment. So DevOps and cloud engineers are going to set up these things for them using the continuous integration and delivery. So taking into taking all of these factors into consideration, the future of DevOps and cloud, at least for the next five years, is going to be very bright because all the companies needs to move towards the public cloud. Of course, there are some expect exceptions. There is a cloud repatriation happening. Some companies are moving towards private cloud, but I'm talking about the majority. Majority of the companies have to move towards public cloud. They have to move towards containers and container orchestration environments. So DevOps and cloud engineers are going to help them. Question number two, is the DevOps right fit for you or not? So I want to divide this answer into two parts. One is you are a storage engineer. You are a network engineer, you are a build and release engineer, or you are a system administrator. If you are in any of these streams, then you should definitely consider switching into DevOps and cloud. Please try to take some tutorials. It can be my YouTube tutorials, or it can be any other tutorials. Watch some videos on DevOps and cloud. And if you feel that DevOps and cloud excites you, you need to immediately switch towards or transition towards DevOps and cloud. What if DevOps and cloud does not excite you? What if you feel it is very overwhelming? Then still you have to consider move towards a different stream. It can be test automation. It can be development, but you have to move from this legacy systems because with the inception of public cloud, with the usage of containers and container orchestration, most of these technologies or most of these concepts are going to be obsolete. Now, the other part of it is if you are a fresher or if you have career gap, then what I'm going to tell you is do some proper research. Do not just go into the words of anyone. I might be telling that you should consider DevOps and cloud, but still you have to do your homework because there are so many other tools and technologies. There is data, sorry, there is data engineering, there is data analytics, there is machine learning, AI, ML, so many streams and so many of them are getting, I mean, they have a bright future as well. So explore these options, explore DevOps and cloud as well. Watch some videos, go through some tutorials. And if you think that you are passionate about this thing, only then go with DevOps and cloud. Question number three. What is the average package of a DevOps and cloud engineer? Now, sometimes I find this question not so serious, but for some people who really want to evaluate their current situation in the organization, let's say they are doing front end engineering or they are just doing a back end engineering and they are getting paid less for some people. I mean, for those people, this question is very much valid because they want to evaluate all the other tools and technologies in the market and they want to go with a technology that is not only passionate for them, but is also equally paid with the top technologies in the market. And to answer this question, DevOps and cloud is well paid. 
i am not going to tell you that it is exceptionally highly paid uh, technology but if you take a average full stack engineer and if you take average devops and cloud engineer the package will be some or the other equal i mean it will not be the same in some companies full stack engineers or Uh, paid high in some companies devops and cloud engineers are paid high it depends upon that position it depends on that requirement but mostly you can compare average package of a devops and cloud engineer with a full stack engineer there are no questions about it and if you want me to tell the numbers it is very very difficult because it depends upon the company let's say you want to choose companies like tcs wipro infosys their pay scale is completely different from the pay scale of amazon flipkart so i cannot give you the exact number because it depends upon the company so you can use platforms like glassdoor you can check on the internet what is the average uh, package of a devops engineer in that particular company but to answer this question here devops engineer are equally paid as full stack developers on an average now the other question that frequently i get asked on the comment section or when i go live is abhishek i was told that the devops engineer is going to devops engineering is going to end in 2 years devops engineering is going to end in 3 years how this ai and all the modern technology tools like chat gpt going to impact the devops engineering if these are your questions let me tell you that devops and cloud engineers are in safe hands devops and cloud is the last thing that this ai tools are going to replace i have told this multiple times before and i am going to tell this again and again the reason is that most of these tools and technologies in devops they are not i mean they are very recently introduced for example if you take the concept of gitops if you take tools like argo cd or flux ai gives you a lot of false positives because there is not much data around these modern devops tools and ai tools are mostly data driven they train on the data they form some solutions intelligently but if there is wrong data or if there is very less data these tools are innovative enough to frame the wrong answers as well understand this points chat gpt bard they will give you wrong answers innovatively that means if they don't have the answers they are capable of finding out figuring out a wrong answer and showing it to you so these lang large large language models are defined in such a way they are created in such a way that they can also give you a lot of false positives and in terms of devops and cloud i have seen that because i have used these uh, tools and technologies like large language models chat gpt bard i've used them a lot and i've noticed when there is less data such as gitops when there is less data such as crossplane or any other modern or emerging tools they give you a lot of false positives in such case these cannot be replaced by ai chat gpt bard or any other things whereas if you compare it with full stack development like java development or python ai can give you answers not accurately but they can go to near accurate situation so that positions can be in stake the entry level positions in these kind of job roles can be at stake but for devops and cloud engineering at least now at least for the next few years they are not in stake because of tools like chat gpt and bard i hope i have answered your questions if you have any more questions like this please let me know in the comment section in the last class i have also explained you how to create resume for a fresher please watch that video using the link in the description for senior or for experienced devops engineers we have already done that video we have taken help of some tools like chat gpt internet and i have shown you how to create job description driven resumes so please watch that video i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section your feedback and what you want to see in future related to such questions take care everyone bye bye see you